BC10 has learned that the Fish and Wildlife Service set up a bogus fishing company on tribal land in Barraga County that was used to buy fish from those under investigation. The targets include members of numerous tribes in Wisconsin and Michigan, including the Keweenaw Bay Indian Community, the Red Cliff Band of Chippewa Indians, and the Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians. The investigation apparently also involves non-natives. That sting involved creating the bogus Upper Peninsula North Fish Company on US-41 in Lance in a building with a history of being a fish buying business and located on the Keweenaw Bay Indian Community Reservation. The investigation involves millions of pounds of illegally caught fish on the Great Lakes, including Lake Huron, Lake Superior, and Lake Michigan. The fish include sturgeon, lake trout, and walleye. The fishing operations raided over the past two weeks and included in these criminal complaints are Peterson's Fish Market in Hancock, plus two of their 50-foot fishing vessels owned by the Petersons, the Three Sons, and the Charlene. The Beaver Island Fresh Fish Market in Beaver Island, whose owner died this past July during the investigation and the John Cross Fish Market in downstate Charlevoix. Meanwhile, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service agents raided an international fish distributing company doing business under several names in the Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin area. Agents raided Dan's Fish, Inc. on Jib Street in Sturgeon Bay. Agents say businesses run by Dan Schwartz include Great Lakes Gold, Dan's Fish, Sturgeon Bay Cold Storage, and a sister company, Seafood International, in Estonia. A release from the office of U.S. Attorney Patrick Miles Jr. confirms the ongoing investigation and raids that occurred this month at locations in northern Michigan and northeastern Wisconsin. The businesses hold wholesaler records of fish taken from Lakes Michigan and Superior, and the investigation involves potential violations of the Lacey Act. The Justice Department is communicating with state, tribal, and federal law enforcement representatives and look forward to working with them as partners in maintaining and safeguarding a healthy fishery. The Lacey Act is a federal conservation law that prohibits interstate trade and wildlife such as fish that have been taken, possessed, transported, or sold in violation of a federal, state, or tribal law. ABC 10 has learned the investigation focuses on the illegal trafficking of nearly all edible species of fish from Lakes Michigan and Superior, where lake trout populations have been dangerously low due to overharvest and the invasion of sea lampreys that prey upon those lake trout. The feds have spent millions trying to increase lake trout numbers, including lamprey removal and strict trout harvest quotas. In the federal documents, officials said the investigation demonstrates the illegal commercialization of lake trout and other fish species from Lake Superior and the nearby Great Lakes. The extensive undercover operation investigated the illegal trafficking and false reporting of fish harvested from Lake Superior, Northern Lake Michigan, and Western Lake Huron. From the ABC 10 CW5 Special Investigations Unit, I'm News Director Greg Peterson.